how are you doing every young man young woman wherever you're at i believe uko sawa kabisa welcome to our tuesday night hangout this is the place to be and this is where it's happening yes and this is the time masai yetu ya curfew on tuesday night now it's on another level yani tunajibamba vilivyo it's good to have you one more time here with us and as we always say uh, let us know where you are watching us from comment on our comment section na tuta link up amaniaje yes tonight i tell you it's an amazing night one more time in the presence of the lord oh my goodness and getting to hang out and just enjoy what god has given unto us today and so we celebrate the goodness of the lord and i want us to take a minute you know and even focus ourselves on the lord jesus christ and god the father what he has done in our lives you know how far he has brought us how much he has given to us the blessings of god upon our lives we are alive you are here with us and also i want us to take a few minutes and just you know go before the lord in thanksgiving the bible says that rejoice in the lord always and again i say rejoice offer your thanksgiving unto the lord oh yes so let us let us take a few minutes and just give thanks despite what is happening you know with the corona the pandemic the fears the ups and downs and you know pressures of life let us take some minute and tell god thank you for what you have done heavenly father thank you for your goodness thank you for your kindness thank you for your grace thank you that we are still here and we know jehovah king of glory it doesn't matter what is happening around us the bible says that you know you, they, they will fall on my left and on my right but the, the pandemic the fears the pain the anger the frustration the enemy the arrows of the devil will not get near me and jehovah god you have kept me kept me in perfect health you have provided for me jehovah king of glory you are our amazing Amazing. and i know that you have done the same to you know these young wonderful lady these wonderful young man that is watching even right now i thank you for the blessings of the lord upon our lives jehovah king of glory yes we take time to say thank you for your love thank you for minding us jehovah god thank you for taking care of us thank you for taking care of our families our parents our brothers and sisters our friends jehovah god that we are able to connect and know that they are doing well thank you for the privilege of life and more so thank you for the gift of salvation yes lord as we proclaim you today king of glory thank you that we are born again not of the human flesh and the human will lord king of glory but of the seed of god in the name of jesus and we are grateful for this wonderful gift in jesus name we thank you amen and amen and amen i believe that you are blessed glory to god Wow, yes, what a wonderful thing that God has done for us. Can I tell you something? Despite what is happening, if you look carefully, you will see God in the storm. And so this moment, let's go before the Lord in thanksgiving as we praise him and glorify him. So stop whatever you're doing for a few minutes and join me and Felista and the worship team as we glorify the Lord with songs of praise and glorify the Lord. The Bible says in, you know, Psalms 100 that come shout to the Lord with a joyful noise. Come into his presence with thanksgiving and praises in your lips. This is what we do. Glory to God. Woo! Thank you so much Pastor Joe. One more time I welcome you to our Tuesday service. Um wherever you are, just stand up and let us celebrate God. Amen. And give thanks. Yeah. Come on Pastor Donna. Come on clap your hands to Jesus. Thanks to the Lord for his good. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord for his good. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord for he is wonderful. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord for he alone is so good. His love endures forever. Oh, 
he alone is worthy to be exalted god you never change my lord and my father and forever god we keep on praising your name we keep on lifting up your name king of glory and exalting you jesus we declare that you're good that you're wonderful that you're awesome my lord and my father and god that you're faithful and you're true my king and my father we worship you jesus even as we worship even as we praise king of glory god even as we live my lord and my father we pray that jesus you will show yourself in us oh god you will be glorified oh god you will be exalted my lord and my father and jesus that it will be known oh god that you are god you are god alone you are god king of glory god who never changes who will not change my lord and my father and who's holding our lives in your hands my god we glorify you Just lift up your hands and worship God. Tell him that he's worthy of our praises. He's so, so worthy of our praises. We give you glory, Lord. We exalt your name, Lord. Lord, there is none like you. There is none that can be compared to you, King of glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, King of glory. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you, King of glory. What a wonderful God you are, King of glory. You are God alone. Oh, yes, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You are God alone from before time began. On your throne, you are God alone, and right now, in the good times and bad, you are on your throne, you are God alone, you are God alone from before time.
rushed all over Couldn't find nobody I went high and low Still couldn't find nobody Nobody great Nobody great alone Nobody greater than you I'm such a lover He's an amazing God. He's an amazing, amazing, amazing God. There is no other way we can describe him. He's such an amazing God, such a loving and a faithful God. Glory to God. I'd love to take, you know, a few minutes and just bring the word of the Lord to us today. And, 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 and my topic today, <laughs> my topic today, I just want you to look to, you know, if, if you have a neighbor or tell yourself, be patient. Be patient. Yes, repeat that again. Be patient. Huh. Now, let me tell you that our days can be, and actually during these times, they are long, they are hard, and they are incredibly stressful. Oh my. I can tell you that when you wake up in the morning and there's nothing else you're doing despite being in the house, by the time it's getting to 9 a.m., and you woke up at 8.30, you're like, this day should end. I tell you, it is long. By the time it's getting to afternoon, it's long. There's nothing that is happening. Life is not moving. moving. Things are slow. It's becoming crazy and crazier. And people are feeling like I need to stretch my legs. And by the way, I've noticed even in this time to relieve stress, what's so on here? Jogging, wanna pick a jogging, a subui, you know, just to make sure, you know, they, 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 they maintain the balance of life and to stay sane. But let me tell you, the days are long, they are hard, and they are incredibly stressful. And so when we are exhausted or worried, I can tell you finding patience or thinking about patience in our life, that's the last thing that you're thinking about. But in this season, I want us to talk about patience. Patience. Now, patience as described is the capacity to accept or tolerate, to accept or tolerate delay or suffering. Let me say that again. Patience is the capacity to accept or tolerate delay or suffering, listen, without becoming angry or 
anxious. <laughs> Patience is the capacity to remain calm, even in suffering, to remain calm. What a good jam. Right now, if you say something and you know someone is feeling angry, they get angry really quick because their patience is running thin. But today I've come to remind you that we need to be patient. Patience with who? Or patience with what? Yeah, mostly patience is, our patience is tested, you know, in relationships. That means there's another person. And so we are t- our patience is tested with our family members, our friends, our neighbors, uh, God, when we are asked to forgive, <laughs> my goodness, and, 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 and all these, you know, you need to be patient with people, like right now. Eh, kwa hii situation na hii scenario. You know, kuna mtu amekukosea. Of late, kuna mtu alisema kitu ikakujamisha. Kuna kitu ulikumbuka ikakubo. <laughs> you need to be patient. And in this season, we need to be patient. And this is how we act out in our patience. Number one, there are keys or there are evidences to show patience. And that is love. Hmm. And that is calmness. Mm-hmm and forgiveness now when you're exercising your patience you have to show love you have to show calmness and you have to show you know forgiveness the heart of forgiveness and i'm saying all this because there's the question that is trending and people are starting to ask where is god even in this season god and now nice if it was what it happen is it there Yes, he is. But as I was looking through the scriptures, I have found out that mostly people walk out of God's blessings because they were not patient with him. Because they they never remained calm. Their capacity to stay calm, their capacity to accept or to wait or to tolerate the situation until they cross to the other side ran thin. And when they did that, then they fell or they used shortcuts. And we know how shortcuts are. Uliza, Uliza, Abraham, Nasara, they took a shortcut after God gave them a promise to give them a nation. Let me tell you, today, we are experiencing the same thing. Our patience is running thin. Our capacity to tolerate or to accept delay or the suffering that is happening is running thin. And we are starting to be angry. We are no longer calm. Unapatana na mse kwa matri, I'm a jam. Unapatana na mse kwa street, I'm a jam. Yani ata zile posti zinarusho kwa social media, wase wa jam. People are angry. And they are angry at the government. They are angry at their families. They are angry with God. They are angry with everything and anything. People People are becoming angry. But I've come to remind you today that you need to remain patient. Why? Listen to what the Bible says. The Bible says in Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 that do not be anxious for anything. Do not be anxious. Do not be anxious. Let your patience remain. Remain steadfast. Remain steadfast. Remain steadfast. Remain steadfast. Do not be anxious about anything but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving in your heart let your request be made unto known be made known unto the lord remain calm i came to realize that because our patient is running thin then we are able to take shortcuts you know what i'm saying you're able to take shortcuts and when you take the shortcuts you end up in crazy grounds and dangerous places and life becomes miserable. Now, when we remain patient, waiting upon the Lord, reflecting on the promises of God, and we wait for God to come through, I can assure you that God is a faithful God who will come through for us. Every time the children of Israel were impatient with God, they suffered. Every time the children were impatient with God, they took shortcuts wakanza kwa budumyungu mingine and in that they suffered. We don't want to suffer 
when this pandemic is done and this season is done. But we want to enjoy the blessings of God. But what shall we do? Remain patient. Remain patient. Remain patient. Shkilia to these wonderful truths of God. As you're reading your scriptures, as you're in your time of prayer, remain patient. Calm. Meditate and remain patient as we wait upon the Lord. Listen, as I finish, I want to read a few scriptures what the Bible says. I've read you Philippians 4, 6. It says, do not be anxious about anything, but in prayer uh, and supplication and thanksgiving in your heart, let your request be known unto the Lord. Listen to what it says in the book of Romans chapter 12, verse 12 of that. Rejoice in hope, be patient in tribulation, be constant in prayer. Why? Because we know that God will come and a moment of celebration will come. Listen to what he says in Galatians chapter 6 and verse 9. And let us not grow weary of doing good, for in due season we will reap if we do not give up. If you do not give up in staying calm, forgiving and loving and showing goodness and sharing goodness, then you will reap. Listen, in due time you reap. Listen to what he says in Ephesians chapter 4 verse 2. That I therefore, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to walk in a manner worthy of the calling to which you have been called with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love. Remain patient. Because there is a wonderful promise that at the end of it all, we are going to celebrate. Glory to God. Heavenly Father, I pray for every young man, young woman watching right now, that God, you King of glory, that patience, patience is a virtue in their lives. And I pray that the Holy Spirit will increase, O King of glory, the capacity to tolerate, O King of glory, the capacity to accept, the capacity to hold on to the end, my Father, that we will not take short. We will not take shortcuts, but we will go the long way in the name of Jesus. For we know that Jehovah, King of glory, those who are quick to run in quick schemes, they suffer poverty, Jehovah, King of glory. But for us, Jehovah God, we shall wait upon you patiently. We shall continue to wait upon you patiently in the name of Jesus. And we know that your promises are going to come through in our lives. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen yay my people glory to god <laughs> now what wame kuamita let me tell you yani <laughs> i didn't know that nairobi is this huge tuneza ka nairobi bila kutoka inje you know you're thinking of naivasha naikuru eh, nyeri and wherever but we've been in nairobi but despite being in nairobi because of the situation in our nation and even uh, the city of nairobi we we haven't been able to meet in church hang out and do you know the normal things that we normally do uh, but this is what has been happening in the these guys life let's see our testimonials this week yes na represent dandora ama ile inaitwa runda andora eh ya wase wale wa bazo aya what have i been up to word music school life prayers and uh life itself i have a lot of testimonies about it and i'm so grateful about it when manze ni Serious, yani, ni mehata wa seni, mehata. Yani, the church itself, the environment, the environment is the thing I really miss. You know, kukwatu hao, kucheki kwa YouTube, manze, there is that element, but it's not in its fullness. Mana, ni mehata iyo, 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 iyo time with you guys, yani. It's so, so missing for me. Lakini for now, stay safe, manze, ni muhimu. Shoutouts to Kina Lindsley, Salma, Tamara, Kina Shiro, Felista, Jonathan, Boaz, Shushain, Nani Mwingine. The list is endless, man. Yani, eh. <laughs> stay safe, stay at home. Man, ni mawapenda sana. That's all I have to say, man. I'm out. Peace. Hi, guys. Lucy Joaquin here representing Thicker Road. We're so happy to be around this place and really missing church. Uh, a lot. A lot, yeah. <laughs> so far we really miss church because of the 
connection, connecting with people, you know, during the week you are alone and then Sunday is here. Yeah. And samosa. And mama does it samosa. Mm. Samosa, yeah, hey. And shout out, shout out to Bingo and Bingo and yes. SC and Wendo. Oh, those kids. And and everyone from church showed up to you. Wow. Yeah, we love you, we miss you. Hey, it's you, it's me to a child. Hey, yeah, child. Hey. yeah, we really miss you guys a lot. And we have we hope and, to see you. And the pandemic is going to get over and you're going to get back, back. to church. Connecting again. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs>